Kisangan from BRG classes. Today we are going to learn chapter number 7 of biology, control and coordination. We are going to learn about hormones. Hormones are chemical messengers which are present in which are secreted by their respective gland and they react on another organs for their functions. We will start with plant hormones. There are five type of, type of hormones present in plants. There are three type of growth hormones and two are non-growth hormones. Oxygen, oxygen is a type of growth hormones which which help in growth of stem and root in plant. Second type of growth hormone is cytokine. Cyto means cell and, and kinone, kinin means division. And cytokinin helps in division of cell. It divides the cell into two daughter cells. Third type of plant hormone is gibberlins. Gibberlins helps in vegetative growth of the plant. You can directly discuss the topics also. You don't need to write that. Now we will learn about FCC acid. It is for type of hormone present in plant. It Abscisic acid, it helps to inhibit growth, means it, it is a type of opposition with, to the growth of the plant and wilting of leaves means collapse of leaves due to, due to no water which is mostly seen in autumn season. First we will learn about ethylene.
fifth part is ethylene. Ethylene it helps in ripening of fruit from raw material into a proper in which we can. It is very easily to eat. So these were the five types of hormones present in plant. Now we will. Now we will learn about hormones in animals. If there will be deficiency of growth hormone, the human being will will suffer from dwarfism, in which their height will be not their height will not increase. It will be less than average height, which will be less than 5.5.
Adrenaline hormones, it helps body to prepare in difficult conditions like fear, flight, or fight. Can you please stand up and answer my one question? Where is pituitary gland located? In and the brain. what is it? What are its functions? It is used for releasing of growth hormone. What are growth hormones? <laughs> you can see. Third, we will learn about thyroid gland. <laughs> Thyroid gland is located near the neck. Third, we will learn about thyroid gland. It is present near the throat and it releases thyroxine hormone. And it helps in balancing of growth and it helps in balance of metabolism rate and if there will be deficiency of thy thyroxine hormone it can cause goiter in which the neck will swallow now we will really learn about parathyroid gland gland is located behind the thyroid. It's located behind the thyroid gland. Parathyroid gland releases parathyroid parathyroid hormones. Thyroid hormones. What is it? Then about pancreas. Pancreas are located in the lower abdomen and it secretes the insulin and glycogen hormones and it helps to maintain the sugar level in our body. And if there will be deficiency of this hormone, and it can cause the diabetes in human beings. Okay?